Now, for music lovers among us, there's nothing like going to a live gig. You see your favourite band, you see a new band, maybe you've not seen before, and you think, oh, I'm going to come back and go start following them. And you just really enjoy not only the music, but the event. It's the whole offer, isn't it? But for those just starting out in the business, it's a harsh reality when, let's say, you don't get paid for, for the gig, whether you're the band, uh, someone behind the mixing desk, the promoter, or anything else to do with the industry, if you don't get paid, if you don't get, you know, what what is owed to you. Well, that's where Events 471 have come in. They're a local company, and it came about at the end of last year to try and just end the exploitation, really, while also bringing new music uh, to, to Birkenhead. Uh, Carol Hetherington and Carrick Morgan uh, are with us now. Welcome both. Welcome. Hello. Good morning. Squeeze Good morning. in on that green microphone a little bit so we Hello. can hear you. Good morning to you. Did I explain that in a really easy way yeah, to understand? Yeah, that was fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. Was that all right? Okay. Um, it's important, isn't it, that... I mentioned before, the timeline of, of the music industry is littered with people being ripped off ever since it started, you know. And Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's very unfortunate, but it's a thing that's still going on today. I started only like a year ago, and you see all these new opportunities, you see all this new money in the, in, in the industry, yeah. but it's a thing of it didn't take me long to find that this new money, this growing industry, it's still just as hard to find. Mm. Like a lot of my mates and stuff in the industry, be it sound engineers, bands, be it promoters, photographers, it's a thing of no one talks about it, but it's a thing of it's so prevalent. No one can access this on the local scene. So this is a way of you getting control of this then, Carrick, isn't it? It's a thing of, of giving back to it. That's mostly what we want to do. Mm. Because it's a thing of if we can build a community that is stronger and more aware of what's going on, we can bring forward new light to it and we can we can make good change for that and you've got your own band is that right yeah i do i've got i'm in multiple bands at the moment all right with okay. college and uh, personally and this is how this happened we thought it was one genre of music we thought maybe it was one or two venues this was happening at but because carrick was involved in different things and lots of different friends in different genres we thought this is a problem so we sat there thinking what can we do i like going and spending money behind a bar and going to a venue yeah. but if my money's not being distributed to these poor kids that are playing so we sat there thinking what can we do so the natural thing was well if we can get an established local band that knows the pitfalls who's willing to headline and work with us and get the new bands working together get everyone in get a really good night out going so an obvious choice was ian cal from sanity beach so thank you to him He's helped Carrick enormously mm. over the last sort of 12 months to two years. In what way did he help you? Karen? It was a thing of when I started wanting to open my arms out to music and see what was actually out there for me, I started as a, as a drummer, as a musician, and I used to frequent his jam nights practically every Thursday throughout my GCSEs and everything around that time. And how old are you now? I'm 17 now. Oh, okay. And it's a thing of that was my first view into what music could offer as a different genres, different ways of different different people completely and I saw an entire gambit of what I could do with myself there mm -hmm. and that was due to Ian, Ian from Insanity Beach giving many opportunities to these new kids so basically the grass the grass um What's it called? Sorry. Grassroots. Um, Grassroots. Grassroots. So yeah. Ian said he'd headline. So we said, how do we then promote it? How do we get people to a venue? And where will the venue be? Now, it just so happens the stars have aligned because the venue that we play at the jam night, the owner of that business um, has got hold of an old industrial warehouse. Yeah. And he's got this old industrial warehouse and he wants to bring live music. But he says, how do I get people into this venue? And just through chatting to him, it's going to be Northern Powerhouse where we're going to be playing our first gig. <laughs> We said, we'll advertise it. So this is where we photographed every on Northern Powerhouse. We've got the bands. We've got a website going. And all the bands, all our local friends, the people who've designed the website with us, the people who've done the photography, have shared everything. And we've got a really, really good night planned for this Friday, the 31st of March, down at Northern Powerhouse. So it's a showcase for three out of four, Trial by Geneva, a Red Coven, and obviously insanity beach and the idea is that ian will share his experience with the young bands the young bands can see how it's done he can advise them on pitfalls not to fall into yeah because anyone who's been in a band and they've got to a certain point the, the, there's always a pitfall oh yeah you know oh, definitely and, he's seen it and he's you, been there exactly it. Yeah. yeah and and thousands like him yeah 
But if you learn from that and then pass on the yeah. knowledge, that's the key, isn't and it? And also, we can showcase some of his own music as well because he's been playing his own music for 30 years. Yeah. So it's an opportunity to showcase him as, as well. But because of what's happening and the success, what started was, let's just give this a go and see where it goes. Mm. The inbox now is overflowing with people from different genres that want to do things. So we're trying to look at future, well, we are planning we future, are planning events, future events yeah. where we'll have different themes. So this is quite sort of rocky and um, poppy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and going for different genres. Genres. So we'll do this again. This, so this could go pretty big. This, yeah. So have, have got, have the other, see, I think you mentioned the Chamber of Commerce before. Yes. Yeah, well. So the Chamber of Commerce, we got in touch with them, and they've been really, really supportive, really, really helpful. So we've got another meeting next week with them um, about. They've said, well, if we can do this even bigger, where we can work with the bands to the young bands to write their own music with you, have their own recording studio, practice space, and work with this other large venue and the smaller venue. So that business owner is really, really keen to work with us. We can work in the smaller venue with Ian, put the small bands on, and they can kind of graduate to Northern Powerhouse. So they've got like a journey. Now, people might say, well, this isn't anything new, Carol. Lots of people have tried this, and there's lots of good venues in Birkenhead and on the world doing a similar thing. But we want to take it from the beginning to the end because we see a lot of venues or places that go yeah come and play we'll help you with your training yeah. but there's nowhere for them to showcase it's like yeah come and learn live music so this sounds like the perfect yeah the perfect the whole, idea the whole journey. Well, it's like, whole journey, it's like yeah, a collective like, absolutely isn't it? Yeah. yeah and the chamber of commerce are um, going to help us um with a business case too I'm, work on this further. I'm deeply jealous of you, mate. I have to say, 17, being in a band, you know, the whole world that you feed. What, what, I mean, it's, it, it, I mean, I could I could take any song. I can find any song I want to play now. I've got my phone. I can listen to anything I want. I can stream anything I want, when I want, which is great. But seeing a live new band play, you can't replicate that. No, you, no, you can't. can't. It's something it. really special. And it's a thing of... You've got all these really exciting bands. You've got all these new different sounds coming out of Liverpool, Manchester, world specifically. And it's a thing of they've got so much energy, so much potential, and they just need they need a place to show it. I think what's happening in Birkenhead at the moment as well with the regeneration and where these venues are, it fits in with the heritage trails. So it's also the regeneration of Birkenhead. Mm. We're from Birkenhead. We want to see Birkenhead do well. Absolutely. It's been a bit of a neglected, poor relation. So we want to share that and then linking in with what's happening with Eurovision. So Carrick and some of his friends are playing some pre-Eurovision things. It's an exciting time to it's be really involved exciting. in it though, isn't it? It, it really is. is. So, so yeah. tell me, what, what, what were you influenced by? 17 now, but what were you listening to, say, when you were 10 or 11 because we tend to listen to what mum listens to in the house and what, what, about, what about you that's why Carrick's a right mishmash is it what um, mum and dad yeah, is. <laughs> well yeah my mum and dad are very wide musical very influence. wide yeah. that's good <laughs> so eclectic is yeah. good Carrick's very. been festivals since he was in a pram really? he's done Glastonbury from a small baby <laughs> and lots of mini festivals large festivals but go on but when I was saying my dad was interested in rock music so I listened to lots of rock music growing up Yeah. But I'm listening to lots of pop and stuff but when I was growing up I started listening to new new sounds and stuff so I went through all like different catalogues so like um, Pitchfork Anthony Fantano listening to new music and stuff and I found a lot of things like similar and then I branched off into different things like jazz, dance music, IDM. And I must admit, there's certain music I'd close my ears to and his dad had, oh, no, that's not for us. Yeah. But through Carrick, that's even broadened us even further. It on, it's though, amazing. It? So it's a big family thing with um, his on. brother as well okay. and lots of friends and family. So and it's visiting lots of festivals and... So, so just to finish with, what's what, what's the the plan for you? What's your five year plan? Where you know by the time you're twenty twenty three, you know where, where do you where do you think you'll be? And what will the you be plan doing? would be to carry on with events four seven one, and also just do as much as possible in the industry. It's a thing of there's so many jobs out there and there's so many opportunities. Where it's a thing of you don't really want to limit yourself. I want to do as much as possible. I think to summarise, Carrick is writing music and producing music, but he wants to have bands to play. Yeah. And he wants the bands to be seen in a venue. So everybody's got to work together. It needs to be a great customer experience that people come down and go, that was an amazing night. How good was that new band? Love that existing band. Um, so we need somewhere to show for them. So we need a good venue. So that's where we're working with Northern Powerhouse. We need good people to help us with established bands like Ian Cowell and there's lots of others. 
go to the website and the socials later to see who else wants to work with us. Right. And then all the new bands that have already emailed us already, please bear with us. Um, it's really exciting. We're not ignoring anyone because that's something that happens. Yeah. People get ignored from the venues or from promoters and that's sometimes because there's nowhere to put them. Okay. Give us the give us the Facebook page. Give us your socials. So events471.co.uk is the website. Go there and on the website it links to the bands. You can see the band's bio, a background of the band. You can hear their music, links to their Spotify, links to their Facebook, you can see all about the band before yeah. the night get an idea and we're also listing sending out playlists and um, we're also on Instagram and Facebook at Events you're all there. we'll find yeah, them all from your there your fans there so They'll thank you for your time in. no you're welcome mate what's it like working with your mum it's fantastic it's in, is it intense it's <laughs> it makes we're both it, intense yeah. it makes it a lot easier to be very truthful at yeah. time have you got a manager no have we, you got an agent no we, we manage there each other there she is <laughs> <laughs> We I manage each other. It's a thing yeah. of there's there's a lot of a lot of discussion yeah. and a lot of and behind heated discussions, the scenes, I'd say. Um, there's Carrick's dad. Who without Carrick's dad, this wouldn't happen because he levels us. It's a good job he wasn't. It wouldn't be. I wouldn't get away with it <laughs> no, at all. No, he's very quiet. He's, he, but he just calms us all down. Oh, as right. do our friends and family. Um, and big shout out to Imogen Connors as well, who has made all this happen with the socials and the website. So yeah, right. thank you. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Friday night, thirty first. There you go. Seven thirty on the door. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. Good luck. Yeah. And uh, let's uh, let's meet up again towards the end of the year. Find out how it's all That'd going. That'd be brilliant. Thank all you very right. much, Tony. Yeah. No problem. Take care. You're Thanks for your time. Bye bye.